hi everyone so let's first initialize our node.js project uh, and initialize all the dependencies with the eslint and eslint rc so this is our project uh, we just need to use the basic commands to do that So we got all the dependencies already there. So in this package.json, we will just uh, put the dependencies. Now let's hit npm install to get all of them. Okay, if you see, because the node modules were all already there. So let's better remove all node modules first. <coughs> and hit the npm install. So we'll get everything and you can check our code which is the basic which we got from Volaplit. So now you can see the ESLint uh, is enabled here. Because we have a ESLint RC. ESLint RC is actually uh, talking about that we are using the Airbnb style guide. So we need to make our code in that way. So you can use the ESLint fixes to fix them quickly. So, it, uh, so if you wanted to comment something, like I don't want to use the destructuring at all, then you can override this ESLint yes warning. No, it will not give you the warning. So having ESLint in your application is one of the good feature. Uh, it is divided into the multiple lines. Let's put that in a single line. Okay, there is some extra space, I think. And this is fixed so in this way we will just uh, keep fixing uh, all the issues now everything look good to me so eslinter helps us to write a better quality code this is our local files let's leave it for now So I'm just trying to fix all the ESLint issues in my code. <coughs> then we are good to go with that. Okay, now you can see this is my app.js file. What it is doing? It is having one single route, and uh, it is starting my application in the index.js file. Okay, it is requiring the app and it is starting the server on 3000 so better to use this npm scripts whenever you wanted to start the server we will extend this app to a further level so you can use a node one instead of node Okay, there is some JSON. I should be able to save it. <coughs> now, npm run. Let's put it as a start. I 
have issues with the keyboard sometimes the space doesn't work so missing script uh, okay let me see where i am and i think package.json is still not saved Now you can see my application is starting. I have all the dependencies, so uh, whatever is needed for this project, I have all the dependencies there, and I, I have added these ESLint dependencies, which you can add in the dev dependencies also because we don't need them for the production. Okay, so this is just like a basic setup of uh, our application. Now you can see all the files which we just changed okay so in next video we will talk about uh, because this is the api so we, we will talk we can talk about the api security api logging api monitoring and all these things uh, let's connect in the next video